Hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, robertanton.com, coming to you with your No Frills American Idol commentary from a singer. Well, we are at the top six results show, and let me tell you, it was, it was an interesting show. Nothing crazy surprising happened, thank goodness. And I'm going to tell you what happened, so just stand by, and we're going to find out what happened. So we started out with 58 million votes coming in from last night. We have 50 million last week, 58 million this week. It is really stepping up now. We are in the top five just as soon as we send somebody home. And it is really heating up right now. They started out with the Queen Extravaganza performing Somebody to Love. Um, this group was honestly much better than the medley the Idols did last night. And the guitarist did a backflip with his guitar. It was kind of exciting, okay? It was pretty great, I gotta say. Uh, they kind of reminded me of a really good tribute band, though. But not quite the spirit of the original. Then, the original guitarist and drummer came in, joined them, and it really upped it. I mean, it really, like, got there. They really got that spirit there going, and I really felt it. I really enjoyed it. So let me know what you guys thought of the performance. The Ford music video had the contestants doing magic, including a heart of goldfish between Joshua and Holly. <laughs> now that would be magic. <laughs> The idols went to TMZ also to thicken their skin, and even Nigel got in on the act for a minute. If you're enjoying the commentary, make sure to thumb it up for me, okay? It really helps out. Getting to the results, Ryan called up Jessica and Elise, and they got their comments. Jimmy said Jessica shouldn't have sung Bohemian Rhapsody, and he didn't like the faces that they put on the back screen, like she had three faces behind her. I thought that was kind of crazy, too. I didn't mention it in my commentary yesterday, but... You know, whatever. I, it was it was artistic, but it was kind of crazy. He didn't like it at all. And he said he loved the whole approach to the Luther song that she'd done. For Elise, Jimmy said Elise didn't make the right choices, just plain and simple on both songs. So Jessica was safe, and Elise was in the bottom three once again in her summer home, as Jimmy calls it. Casey Abrams got some FaceTime while they were talking about the upcoming tour, and he was telling some pranks that they did uh, on the last tour. Then Stefano Langoni performed his single, I'm on a Roll. His tracks were lit, you know. You know, I told you guys before, when the tracks are lit, that means the vocal is already on the track. It's just really light so that the person can sing along on top of it. But you can really tell because his mic was having problems in the first part of the uh, song. So that, that wasn't anything going too good for him. I like the dance choreography in the song, but I wasn't crazy about the song. I'm sorry. It didn't sound very good in the lower part of his voice. In the upper part, it sounded better, but I just... I don't know. I, I, I wasn't crazy about the song. It wasn't very memorable. And at the moment, I don't even remember I, I, how the melody goes. So I, I wish him the best with it. But what did you guys think? I didn't think it was great. We came back from commercial and Holly and Joshua were standing up waiting for their results. Jimmy thought that Holly was a B plus on the Queen song. And he thought she did a wonderful job on the Miley song. He just said he hopes it's not too little, too late. Jimmy said he was impressed with Joshua's Queen song. He said that if Joshua gets voted off tonight, there's something wrong with the whole ball of wax. <laughs> and India Ari sent a crazy note to Joshua, and you guys have to see, it was, you have to hear Ryan read it because it was just very funny just the way he read it. Katy Perry then sings Part of Me, and they were working the military thing, you know, for this performance with the crew, dramatic entrance and everything. I loved it. She actually sounded pretty good vocally actually sounded pretty good vocally, I say, <laughs> for Katy Perry. Um, though she has some problems in one repeating part of this song where I think she goes into her kind of head voice. Eh, it, it, it wasn't too solid, you know, and I think they even put a little extra backing vocal on there for her because they know that it's not that solid. Either way, the dance break was a crowd pleaser and I really enjoyed her performance. Next, we came back from break, and Skylar and Philip were standing up waiting for their results. Jimmy thought she did a good job on round one, but got knocked out in round two. Jimmy also thought Philip's first song was missing something, and his second song was a mistake. So we find out that Skylar is in the bottom three, and Philip is safe. Here we go. Three girls in the bottom three, American Idol. What are you guys doing with the voting? I do not know. Luckily, Skylar was immediately sent back to safety. Elise and Holly were in the bottom two. We went to break. When we came back from commercial, the whole group tried to stand with the girls for their last vote. Everybody was there. Ryan tried to send them back to their seat. At first, they wouldn't go, and he was like, come on, guys. So they went back to their seats, and we found out that Holly is safe, 
and Elise went home. Everyone stood up for her. She got a standing ovation, including from the judges. And she sang us off with Led Zeppelin, Whole Lot of Love. Uh, what did you guys think? I thought that it was really about time for Elise. And I think most people have been saying this all along, that it was about time. She has had a great run. She's a great vocalist. I wish her all the best. But the people who are there now, I think, are probably have the most chance of winning. And yeah, that's just my thoughts, you know, and I'm only one person, so you guys are more than me. Let me know what you thought, if you thought it was right that Elise went home. And if not, who did you think should have went home? Make sure not to forget to check out my So You Wanna Be A Singer series right here on YouTube, also my Originals playlist. Thanks a lot. This is Robert Anton, robertanton.com. I'm out, peace.